Okay, this is a video on this little air conditioner that I have made. So what we got here, so this is a special scientific sandwich. So there's, um, on the bottom, we have a, a little water block. So that's what these two water tubes are coming into. So water comes in here, and then it takes the heat away, and then it sends it back out. We'll have a look where that goes in a second. On the top, there's just a little sheet of um, aluminium plate that I cut. Nothing special, just gives you a surface. Then in the middle, it's quite hard to tell, but there is a thermoelectric cooler thing, um, or a Peltier module, however you want to say it. Um, and I've just got this little thermal probe here, which is, you can it's measure in there, that's saying 15 degrees at the moment. So these tubes come round, and you've got this bucket of water. There's like an aquarium pump out of like a pond, and that takes water from the thing, sends it down, goes into this here, takes away heat, sends it back, and it just goes into the tub. Normally you would have like a radiator to with like fans so to dissipate the heat, but not very warm water comes out here anyway because it's moving quite quickly and there's a lot of water in the bucket so the thermal mass it makes it you can use it for quite a while but what does this little thermal electric Peltier thing do well basically they're known as heat pump things so one when you apply voltage across them with these wires here one side will get really really warm and the other will get really cold um, and then the colder you can keep the warm side, the colder the cold side will get. So the warm side is mounted on this water block. So all of the heat that comes from the warm side will get absorbed into the water and taken to the tub to be gotten rid of. And then the cold side will get really cold. I could put the warm side on like an air cooler, but the water takes away the heat faster. So that way the hot side doesn't get as hot, meaning the cold side gets even colder than what it would do normally. Um, then power, there's just like a power brick up there. So this does 12 volts and then this uses about 5 amps, roughly. Um, I said 60 watts on eBay, where I bought it from. I'm not quite sure what the math works out, I might put it on screen. So I'll put some pictures up of the thermoelectric cooler and the water block. Um, so yeah, more cold water comes in, gets heated up by the thermal electric thing, gets sent back out to the tub, and then all of the heat gets taken away and removed from this metal bit, and this gets really, really cold. So I'm just going to demonstrate that. So I'm just going to set this temperature thing up onto the top of here and I will give you a quick demonstration. Okay, so I've got this set up. So I've attached this thermal pro here. And then that little splodge of grey stuff you can see. That's some of this thermal grease. Now what this does is it fills in any of the gaps and makes a really smooth transfer so that because if you just put these things on top of each other, the transfer of heat energy or thermal energy wouldn't be very good. So what this does is it makes sure it's a very, very good connection, if you will, between them. And it makes sure the heat transfers really well. So in between all three of these layers, there's some of this. Um, and then I've got a little bit on this temperature probe just to help keep that warm or keep the temperature through. So currently it's at about 16 degrees, which is about the temperature of the water in the bucket. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to come here and I'm going to plug in the pump so you can see there's just some air coming out and then in a second there we go so now there's water circulating it's gone down a bit actually so we're at 15 degrees now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in this and you'll see the temperature will start to drop very very fast once the power supply kicks in so we're already down to negative 5 degrees, negative 10. So we're dropping very, very fast, and you'll see 
got some condensation on the top of this metal plate. Negative 23. It gets down to about negative 26. That's about the lowest I've seen it go. So we're starting to reach the limit now. There's a bit of glare on there. There you go. So now we're at negative 27. So this is now very, very cold. Um, now if I take this bit of tissue and just put it in the water, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drip. Let's see if I can get a good view of this. I'm going to drip some water onto here. Very, very quickly. Oh, you can sort of see it. Not very well. That is already ice. So, that is already solid ice. There you go. It's getting stuck to me now. So, we've got an incredibly cold surface. How can we make this into an air conditioner? Well, hang on. This is a CPU cooler out of a laptop. So that surface there would go onto your CPU. And then this bit of copper tubing is called a heat pipe. They are very efficient at transferring heat from one end to the other. Then there's some fins here and a fan to dissipate it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach that onto there and we should have some nice cold air coming out of here and it will be almost like a little mini air conditioner. So I'm going to pause and do that now. Okay, so I've got this attached now just with some thermal grease. Um, I haven't actually tested this yet, so I'm just going to turn on my temperature thing. I've got no idea how well this is going to work. So what I'm going to do plug in the thermal thing okay so now we've got the pump and the thermal running so now obviously this will not get as cold as it did before because we've got a load on it now we're actually moving the heat from somewhere so if I take this thing and I measure sort of sort of down there you can see we're getting quite cold so we're at negative four so it's not dropping as fast because we, we're there's more th mass that we need to cool. If I touch on the top of here, you can see that's almost at exactly the same. It's slightly delayed behind. So that's the that's the actual top of the cooler. That's the top of the mm, copper pipe. Now these heat pipes, they're very good at moving heat from one side to the other. So the temperature down here should be the same temperature up here. So if I touch on it over here, this is at minus six, if right above the cooler, negative seven. So you get, it's very, very close. And then if I feel the fins of this cooler, they are very, they are quite cold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this fan on slowly. There we go. And it is quite cold air coming out of here. Now it's, it's, like it's getting slightly warmer now because now we're actively taking away or adding heat, should I should say. Scientific, the scientific term is we're now adding heat to this. Warm air is getting sucked in here, blown across these fins. And we're adding heat to this bit of copper pipe, which is adding heat to this thing. But I can feel this air is actually quite cold. So if I put my thermal thing just in front, so you can see it's not actually measuring it that well. So if I... Oh, hang on, hold is on, that's why. I don't know why it's doing that. Right, so if I touch top of here, you can see that's it. Real cold. If I touch there... That's not as cold because we're still moving heat. So then if I come in front of this, it's only 16 degrees. But if you compare that to room temperature, which is about 20, that's definitely noticeable. If I just turn the speed up to maximum. 
can see now we're moving a lot more air and it, it doesn't feel as cold but there's a lot more volume so this is actually working quite well okay so this is actually working quite well there is it's definitely noticeably cold air coming out of here at the end um, however I am getting quite a bit of inefficiency in this copper pipe here because these are mainly designed to transfer heat not cold um, I know the scientific terms of that are quite wrong but if you look you can see you can see if there's frost on this bit and there isn't on that bit so the thermal transfer of this is not particularly good so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another smaller heatsink a different one from this computer fan one and put that directly on the top here and see if that works even better okay so what I've now got is I've got this little if you can see there's a little tiny heat sink stuck to the front um, and then there's air will get sucked in from both of these two sides and blown out the top by this fan here um, this re the re this fan would normally be screwed directly onto the heat sink but the reason there's this 3d printed bit there is it brings the fan away from the surface of the heat sink to allow the air to move around more and it makes it better so currently you can see the heat sink of the fan is at negative 22 so if I try to connect this, this fan is on, so you can see we're dropping a bit, but if I put the temperature probe just in the airflow, you can see we're rising because we're taking it away, but considering it's 20 degrees in here, 13 degree air, not that bad, and this is definitely colder. It would probably work better if I had some insulation around the top of here because the heatsink isn't big enough to cover the whole top surface of the Peltier module. But this is definitely working quite well. Now if you feel the, the water coming out isn't actually that warm because it's moving at quite a high velocity. So um, that means it, it is moving quite well. But again... There you go, dropping down. It was at like 17, we're at 16 now. And if I measure heat sink, let's do it this side. I can see the heat sink's at a couple minus degrees, minus three. So the heat sink is a lot colder than the heat sink of the computer fan. So currently our limit is the transfer from heat to the air. I mean, I can speed that little fan up. So now we're moving a bit more air, and it is feel it definitely is quite cold. If I measure the heat sinks now at one degree. Oh, we've gone down to zero. It's fluctuating a bit. So this is working quite well. So again, all it is, water, water block, which is moving the heat away and putting it in that bucket. Power for the Peltier module comes there. It's supposed to be about 60 watts, 12 volt, 5 amps, I'll work out what that is. And then this little fan is being powered through here, just by this little desktop power supply. So yeah, heat sinks at zero. The output air is definitely it, it definitely feels cold the temperature I think there's an error with it monitoring air temperature but it definitely feels cold and I mean if I turn off the thermal thing so now we're not acting as now we're not moving heat this is just blowing normal room temperature air once it decides it wants to uh, warm everything back up to room temperature so you can see it's uh, condensing now loads of water on there because it's cold but we just turned it off so all that ice that it formed has melted and it, it, it doesn't feel as cold anymore so yeah this works quite well 
Okay, I just want to say uh, thank you for watching. Um, I'm amazed you haven't got anything better to do with your time because you spent 15 minutes watching this video if you've managed to make it to this point. Um, so I just want to say thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe because um, clearly you're interested if you've made it to this point. Please f check out some of the other videos that I have made. Um, quite frankly, I'm amazed that the amount of people have been bothered to watch some of my videos that um, have got the amount of views that they have, so just want to say thank you for watching. Um, I've got some good videos planned for the future in the upcoming times, so thank you for watching and stick around and see what comes next.